Mohawk Trail Forest and this is the beginning part of the trail it's a beautiful day today and I think we came at the right time because the leaves are turning beautiful beautiful colors let's check out the map so the Mohican Mohawk Trail is one of them um, we can check out the other ones, right? It's a huge trail, so we want to take the path that gives us the best views of the forest and of the leaves. Warning, bear country. So we've decided to go on the Mohican Mohawk Trail. Oh, so nice. They put the stone up and up, right? Yeah. That is Tibetan style. <laughs> ah. Because the, the foreigners who go to see the Himalaya Yeah, they they saw, the, they saw do that That, that is, means What does it mean? It means if you put one stone, uh, two stone, three stone, right? Yeah That means they are saying Go your luck and prosperity high and high Ah, oh, so it's like prosperity Yeah Usually our Tibetan used to do on the high mountain top. Yeah. yeah. So we're about five minutes into this trail now and it's already getting a little tiring but definitely worth it. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's carry on. We're quickly finding out that this trail is not marked in any way so it is just like this dense thick forest all around us. Um, it's very difficult to navigate around, so I don't know. No clear sign of a path. If it gets too risky, we might have to turn back though. Don't want to get stuck here with the bears. I think we're lost, so we're gonna abort the mission and go to the next trail over, which is the Mount Greylock. We don't know where or how to navigate. Uh, through this trail. <laughs> Other than that, it's very beautiful. Not Sage. Oh, I'm going to take the Tahani. Yeah, I'm going to so pretty. All the leaves are slowly falling down. This is the Whitcomb Summit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful of the mountains here. All right, This one is this one.
Co? This one's even better. This one has a souvenir shop, um, cafe. A lot more people seem to stop out here. I think I'm just gonna get a fridge magnet. What is this? This is the Whitcomb uh, Summit. A lot of bikers stop out here for a quick break before going on. So now it's lunch time, we're stopping at uh, back at the Mohawk Trail State Park and we found this gorgeous picnic area where we're just going to have lunch now or late lunch as it were. We kept on circling back and forth, back and forth between like the two trails because of the COVID restrictions. The Mount Greylock was closed. So here we are about to have lunch. Absolutely beautiful place to be having lunch. And there's like a cute little stream right next to our table too. That's so pretty. And over across from us, I think over there is like a campsite. Husky. Right, so we are actually heading home now. It is coming towards the end of our day. But we decided to stop at the Bridge of Flowers as our last stop. Hopefully there are still some blooms left for us to um, take pictures and admire. And of course, since this is the COVID era, the bridge itself is closed. Such a shame. This is the second place that we wanted to go to that's closed. But anyway, we see a bit of flowers at the back there. It's quite nice.
Okay, looks like we are approaching the Sheldon Falls. So this is called the Salmon Falls Indian Fishing Treaty between the Mohawks and the Penobscots. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very nice. 